This video will show you how to test hypothesis for one population proportion. The example we have here is for testing whether the percentage of female students in a population is greater than 55% or not. So the null hypothesis is that the proportion is equal to 55% and the alternative is that the proportion is greater than 55% or say 0.55. The data that we have loaded to the R commander has a gender variable. It contains female and male gender. So we're going to use this data for testing the hypothesis. To do so, you click statistic, proportion, single sample proportion test. And of course, we want to test for gender, so have gender selected. Click on the option tab. And if you want to do the test that is greater than 55% or not, you need to have the null hypothesis changed to 0.55, which is exactly what we have there. Then for testing proportions greater than 0.55, we need to check the option for right-sided test, population proportion greater than P0. Then you click OK. In the output, you see female goes first and male goes next. Female has 29, male has 21. So a test will be testing percentage for female since female goes first. So this is for testing female is greater than 55% or not. And the p-value we have is actually 0.3349, which is greater than 0.05 not less than 0.05. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And the test statistic is a chi-square goodness of fit test statistic that has a value of 0.1A1A2. Uh, the estimate proportion for female is 58%. However, this 58% is not, you know, this is sample proportion that is not statistically significantly greater than 0.55. That's why we have a p-value that's not really small. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis that we can conclude our test, that we don't have sufficient evidence to support that the female percentage is significantly greater than 55% at the 5% level or significant if you compare the p-value with 0.05. If you wish to test whether the proportion is significantly different from 55% or not, then that will be a two-sided test or two-tailed test. To do so, you can click on statistic, proportion, single sample proportion test, and in the option, change that to two-sided test. This explanation equal, that stands for not equal to P0. So your testing population proportion is not equal to 0.55 and click OK. You're going to have a p-value that's 0.6698. That's really the twice of the p-value for one side of 10. And then also it'll report to you the 95% confidence into the estimate for proportion. However, remember this one is from a non-bias estimation, so this is different from what you get using the formula in the introductory statistic textbook. So you're going to conclude that because the p-value is 0.6698 is not less than 0.05. So you can conclude that you're not going to reject the null hypothesis. Now what if you wish to test or estimate the percentage of male student in the population? If this is what you want to do with our commander. You have to first change the order of male and female category in the data. To change the order of categories in the categorical variable, you first click on data, select manage variable in the active data set, and choose reorder factor levels. We want to reorder gender level, so click gender and click OK. We want to overwrite. Now in the current order, female is 1 and male is 2, so female goes first. That's why when you run that procedure, it is for testing or estimating female. Now I change the order to female 2 and male 1, and then click OK. Then if I rerun the analysis, click statistic, proportion, single sample proportion test, and choose gender and options, I choose population proportion not equal to and specify 0.55 and click OK. Now you see male now go first. 
and the sample estimate is the estimate for male in this population. So right now the test will be for testing male student. The proportion is different from 55% or not. We get the p-value of 0 0.06464, still greater than 0 0.05. So if you want to perform a two-tail test for testing whether the proportion of male is different from 55% or not, you still fail to reject the null hypothesis since the p-value is not less than 0 0.05. And here is, of course, is an unbiased uh, estimation for estimating the proportion of male in a population with a 95% confidence.